Okay, what you're about to see is an interview that we did with a tech insider um, out of, uh, I think it was Silicon Valley, somewhere out in California where they do all the, uh, where all the high tech companies are located, uh, like Google and so on. Um, we had to blur out his face to protect his identity. So, uh, and also this video is only gonna be up for a short time. So you, if you want someone to see it, you better either share it or let them see it, you know, as soon as possible. And, um, but anyway, uh, we just wanted to open people's eyes to what's going on. So, uh, this guy, uh, he didn't want to divulge his real name or his identity. So he's going by the name Ty, T-I, Tech Insider. So, um, anyway, uh, without further ado, I would like to introduce you to, uh, to Ty. And, uh, he's going to take it from here and, uh, and tell y'all what's going on out there in California and with our freedom of speech. So, take it away, Ty. Hello, hello, everybody. I'm not from your country. I just wanted to do this interview with the Truffle Stable to tell you, I believe your platforms such as uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram, compromised by the tech companies in your country. This is a serious problem that your country's government needs to address as soon as possible. I work in the tech industry there in Silicon Valley, California, and I can testify that, that you must contact your congressman to see if there is some way that they can pass a legislation to start regulating these companies so that everyone is given a voice on the platform and is not discriminated against. It is very obvious when you go back and look through all the evidence that these platforms are conspiring to censor and downplay conservative voices in your country. I urge you once again to contact your senators, your congressmen, and let it be known that you want something done to combat this censorship. This is nothing more than big tech controlling the narrative and it's not only about politics in your country, it is also about the culture in your country. This is something you need to address now before it gets out of hand like it has in my country. I've asked the truck for table to keep my identity concealed. So it, that's why my face looks the way it does. The truck for table, he has concealed my identity. So that is why it looks the way it does. So, I hope the information I have given you will help you understand what you need to do to ensure that everyone has an equal footing in the platforms that are offered today on social media. So, that is all I have to say for now. Thank you again to the Trucker Table for letting me speak to you. And also thank you Trucker Table for concealing my identity. Because I work in Silicon Valley, I can't afford to have a get out that I let the cat out of the bag, as you say, in America. Once again, thank you all. God bless you, God bless America, and 
y'all stay safe. Wow, that was, uh, that was really an amazing interview uh, we just did with uh, Ty. Uh, Ty, I call him Ty, it's um, short for Tech Insider. Um, he lives out in, I think he said Silicon Valley or somewhere like that. Anyway, uh, I just want to say thank you for putting your job at risk and everything else. Uh, taking a chance, coming and talking to us. And... Um, Letting us know what's going on out there in California with all these big tech companies, you know, like Google, you know, who owns several different entities, YouTube being one, you know. Actually, Google owns the two largest search engines in the world, um, or most search search engines in the world, uh, Google and then YouTube. So they are very powerful, and uh, they're demonetizing people left and right. You know, uh, if it's a conservative speech they don't agree with, boom, they just gone. Uh, you know, and California, man, they're so corrupt out there. Uh, needles in the streets, people crapping in the streets, literally. It's just, it's, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. The amount of money they waste uh, spending on people that they don't have to spend money on, people that they could easily deport <laughs> to another country that them handle it. <sighs> homeless in the streets man it's so sad but you know ty he was a real brave fella you know coming on here talking to us taking a chance like that uh that his identity could get uh compromised and uh so we had to blur out his face so you couldn't see his face but um yeah he's a uh, he, i guess he does truck driving in his spare time and um so he uh did that interview with us while he was truck driving um probably out there somewhere in California on I-5 or I-15 or I-10, you know, it's one of those big interstates out there, you know, who knows, but uh, I, we really appreciate Ty coming on and, and taking the time to talk to us and everything like that, but he was right, you need to contact your congressmen, your senators, uh, you know, your local representatives, everybody, and say, hey, we got to get something done about this, this ain't right, you know, this just ain't right, so take the time to go out and do that. And uh, this video is only going to be up for a limited amount of time, you know, just because of the sensitivity of it. And we don't want, you know, Uncle Sam or the man finding out who Ty is. So what we're going to do is we're going to limit the time this video stays up on YouTube. Uh, after a certain amount of time, we're just going to pull it down, uh, you know. But we just want to make sure some people can see it, get an idea of what's going on, you know. So... If you're afraid that the video may come down before someone you want to see sees it, then you might want to share it because otherwise it's going to be coming down uh, very shortly after it goes back, goes up. We're not going to leave it up very long. We just don't want, you know, anything to happen to uh, to Ty. Real good guy. I really like Ty. Real honest fella, didn't he? You know, nice square jaw, real, real man's man. You know, Ty is. So we appreciate Ty. Thank you, Ty. Our tech insider. All right. So, thank you for watching the video, liking, subscribing, sharing, and don't forget our motto: If you're an owner operator, don't haul no cheap freight. All right. Talk to y'all later. Stay safe.